Hello social media enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into an exciting social media tool called QuickFeed. As always, we are here to provide you with honest reviews and explore tools that can elevate your social media game. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of our latest content. Now let's dive into the world of QuickFeed. Alright everyone, so here is QuickFeed, stupidly easy to manage all your product updates. Now we're going to check out its pricing and then we're going to check out the lifetime deal. Light on the pocket is what they are uh, is what they are saying to us. So it's simple pricing to choose. Pro one is $8.25 per month, billed at $99 per year and it and the team package will cost us $12.25 per month uh, which is billed at $147 per month. It includes three, uh, the Pro Black package includes three change logs, unlimited posts, custom domain plus SSL, custom category, scheduled posts, custom branding, standard support. And the team package includes 10 change logs. And despite standard support, we have priority support. And then we have team management and remove powered by. All right, so we can sign up for free without requiring any credit cards. So let's go ahead and sign up for free without requiring the credit card. I, I thought you said no credit card required, man. Nice. All right, so they are requiring no credit cards. As you can see, the payment method is now gone. So we are gonna insert our name, last name, then email. Now we are gonna agree to their the quick LLC terms and conditions and order summary details. All right, now let's complete the purchase. All right, so the thanking us for ordering your account has been created. Now login, uh, login details have been emailed. So our email password, I mean our password have been uh, mailed to us is what they're saying. So let's go ahead and check our Gmail account. PK, important account details. So this is it and here it is. The email is that and the password is this. So we're gonna copy the password and we all know our email so we are gonna input the email and then log in so here we have logged into our quick feed account but before we get started let me give you a quick brief about quick feed quick feed is a dynamic social media management platform that promises to supercharge your social media presence whether you're a solo entrepreneur a marketeer or a part of a team quick feed claims to be the ultimate solution for efficient social media management so here we go. We're gonna um, we're gonna go to quick feed. First of all, first let's t uh, take a look at the entire overview. Uh, here we have the quick feed logo, which is gonna get us to the admin panel. Then we have change logs. Then we have teams. And then we have a support. We can get support. We have our account. We have the roadmap, and we can log out from here. So quick start checklist. Add your first change log. All right. So we are gonna go go ahead and add our first change log. Name of the change log is test 2.0. All right, now we're gonna save the name of the change log. So guys, here we go. We have created the change log successfully, test 2.0. Now we are gonna view it. That's all. All right, so before viewing, let's go ahead and go to settings. Now the change log title is gonna be also test 2.0. And then subtitle is also gonna be test 2.0. And this IT URL will be appandbox.com. Here is the entire powered by quick feed. Uh, yeah, we can't disable that unless we get the uh, premium entrepreneur account. So uh, make it private. Do you want to make the change log private access to the feed will only be available with widgets. So if your site website has any change log, you can preview it to your um, viewers audience with this tool. Now let's go to brand and color so we can drag or upload a file here favicon now let's take a look at something let's select these images drag or upload a file here let's go ahead and upload these images logos primary font primary font we'll, we'll select a primary font and select another secondary font and then the choose color okay we're gonna save it so after that we have brand and color then we have footer so we can select the footer copyright text. This content is copyright protected by App and Box. Then we are gonna input our link text. 
so link text is gonna be since it's the footer about us and then that's gonna be link URL and then we are gonna get contact contact us and here we're gonna have down contact us well let's just uh, remove it we have inserted two links and that is enough I think now let's go to domain so here is appquickfeed.com enable custom domain if you want to change you can add custom domain but I don't want to add a custom domain now you can add custom coding but you'll need to upgrade your account to the highest level then we have title entry limits All right so these are the scriptings so we are not gonna to touch it now we're gonna to go to change logs this is the change log add your first log so the change log is here review you can see the dolphin photo is here and the horse photo is here now we are going to go to logs add our first log title version 3.0 fix you will no longer be kicked out of the website for being idle for more than 10 minutes we can select image or video or audio uh, as per we want to give it to our customers we can select an audio and then tell them that uh, yeah it's not gonna happen you're not gonna be kicked out from the website if you are idle for more than 10 minutes and then we're gonna select publish we're gonna save all right so we have our first change uh, I mean change log we can add more and then we are gonna add another one which is gonna be version 3.1 improvement now you are gonna get better suggestions after you read an article so this one is gonna be um, next two days we're gonna change the release date make it publish we're gonna save improvement and then we are gonna select a new one for enjoy all the new articles out there now we're gonna save it oh I forgot to publish so it has become draft so we're gonna go to action and then select publish and then we are gonna select save all right now let's go back to change log we are gonna go to view test 2.0 as you can see we have fix and the rest of the two was not published so they are not being viewed so let's go ahead and publish the rest of the two I mean I'm just showing you guys that you can schedule them too as for your needs and now we are gonna oh we can also add more categories like this is fixed this is improvement this is new and we can add more categories if needed like so we have fixed, we have improved, we have new, and we have, how about announcement? So we have announcement. Let's go ahead and select a color for announcement, which is gonna be yellow color. We're gonna save it. Well, version 4.0 is not actually version 4.0. It's version 0 0.40. Now we are gonna, that was not how we save it. This is how we save it. Okay, so we are gonna add more change logs. Title version 3.5. This time we're gonna select category announcement. New users, you get 10% on all lifetime deals. All right, so let's go ahead and set this announcement. I forgot to make it, I forgot to make it publish. So we're gonna go ahead and make it publish again. All right, now we are gonna change the date of this again. How about, oh, we can change. Okay, so we can change uh, the date to previous days, even then 27. So let's go ahead and make this version 3.0 around 20. Now that makes more sense. Let's save it. And we're just gonna leave it there and then check out our change log. 
Here we go, one week ago we had version 3.0, will no longer be kicked out of the website for 10 minutes, and then we have announcement, welcome back user, if you get 10 times, then improvement, now you are gonna get better suggestions to your reading article, but version 3.1 should be before version 3.5, so let's go ahead and do that. And how we do that, we're gonna make, change the date from 27 to 22. And this is how it should work. Now we're gonna refresh the page. And as you can see, we have version 3.0, then 3.1, then 3.5. So guys, that's how you can set your change log and you can let your announce, you can let your traffic and your audience know about your change logs better by using quick feed with only just one link. You can just share this link and they will be able to access the page and view the entire change log with colorful uh, with colorful titles and all of these dates and the details. So I think it's a convenient way to let your audience know about your change log of your company or website. So guys, thank you so much for joining us today as we explore Quick Feed. If you're interested in trying out this powerful social media tool, you can find the link in the video description below. If you found this review helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow social media enthusiasts. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest reviews and social media tips. If you have used Quick Feed before or have any questions, share your thoughts in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. And if you want to purchase Quick Feed Lifetime Deal, then the link is provided below in the description. Be sure to check that out. Until next time, keep managing your social media presence with ease using Quick Feed. See you in the next video.